Hi, my name is Ben Sion Eliyahu Lehrer, and I'm speaking to you from Northern Israel, Tzafat, the holy mystical city. I want to talk today about the quality of foods and how they affect us. This is real important information, and a lot of it comes from my studies in macrobiotics. Macrobiotics is the closest intelligent way of eating to how our Torah, our holy sages, suggest that we should eat. For instance, the Rambam tells us that if we live in the mountains, don't eat what grows down in the valleys, and vice versa. You should eat what comes from your origin, because God created the world in wisdom. So what grows in our vicinity is what we need. But however, today in our modern world, we've taken foods from different regions in the world and we can make them grow anywhere. I'm talking about the nightshades like potatoes, tomatoes, eggplant. Potatoes are called a cash crop. Tomatoes too, they can grow anywhere. Anyone can grow a tomato garden. Potatoes grow anywhere. But you know what? They both come from Peru, from South America. Google it and find out. So what? Cocaine comes from there too, right? Coffee comes from there too. Well, you know what? <clears throat> God created a world that there in the tropics, we need foods that are expansive because we feel a little bit lethargic in the tropics. Also in the desert, the kharif we call in Hebrew, hot stuff. The Bedouins, the Mexicans, the Taimani Jews from Taiman, they eat that way because that's what they need there. But not once they move to a temperate climate with four seasons. No, okay? It's not right for us. Expansive foods cause the body to expand the toxins outwards, even to the skin, skin problems. As it's moving towards the skin, there's arthritic problems. It's all the same lymph, goo, light, white liquid, sometimes toxic, which is pushing outwards, causing all the pains that our bodies have. I've worked with a lot of people and have helped them to be able to walk again, even. Now, other foods, of course, are tropical fruits. Bananas, orange juice, papayas, grapefruits, right? People living that way. Well, why do we keep eating this way? Why don't we eat whole grains and beans? Well, because that's in the center. Because when we eat over here on one side, see? Then we crave the opposite extreme to feel balanced out. But we're not balanced out like that. And then we're like that all day long. What's on the other side? The tight foods that causes toxins to go deep inside and our personalities. Eggs, salt, meat, fish like tuna, sardines, right? Chicken, right? Cheese. Well, these foods have their purpose. There is a time for eating them. But it's not our main sustenance. Like macrobiotics, our rabbis have told us that the blessing we say on whole grain, which is in the center, is Baremini Mizonot. That he's created types of mazon means sustaining food. The only food we say this blessing on is whole grains. Okay? We say it also, God forbid, I'm sorry, but on cook, cookies and cakes and even ice cream with a little bit of wheat in it. That's not true. It's wrong. It's true that we say it. But it's not what our sages had in mind, for sure. Look at the sources. It's called pat kisnim. Good quality, stone ground, grain, organic with nuts and filling mixed in it, so it's a little bit sweet or nutty or... And then you say mazonot, and sustenance on that, but not what we're eating today, the cakes, cookies. But that's what's in the center, whole grains. People are eating meat, right? And then potatoes, eggs, and orange juice, you see? Cheese and tomatoes, pizza. People, we need to get balanced, centered, at ease. In Hebrew, it's called izun. And the opposite of ease is, God forbid, not at ease, which we call, God forbid, dis-ease, not at ease. So I bless us all to pull our health together to understand what it's about chewing whole grains. Please check my video about gluten <laughs> because it's not the gluten, it's our intestines. God didn't create the staff of life. Wheat, whole grains, which is our main sustaining food, to be dangerous for us. The gluten helps us, makes our body function, and when we begin to function, we begin to heal. When we begin to heal, we begin to cleanse, 
and a person feels all these aches and pains as their body's healing and cleansing because the gluten makes it start working and getting better. It's getting better all the time, right? Trust me. Have a conversation with me about it. Learn about your health. You can contact me, Bencion Eliyahu Lehrer. You can go to my email. Send me an email, Bencion Eliyahu at JewishYearDiet.com. You can check out my website, www.JewishYearDiet.com.